Happy New Year! Guys, it's the final video of New York City Day 8 and the final video of 2016, which I think we can all agree we're happy to see in our rearview mirror. Um, so, I mean, uh, I got the old little tux on. I thought about popping a bottle of champagne, but I don't... For New Year's Eve, but I don't want to finish a whole bottle of champagne, so we're just sticking with the good old martini. Mmm. Anyway, got the old tux on, which of course, of course I wear every evening after six, because what am I, a farmer? The only thing that's missing is a top hat. I know, it's shocking. I'm almost four years old, and I do not own a top hat, which uh, is something we shall have to remedy. If anybody out there wants to send me a top hat, I would gladly accept it. So I thought um, in the top hat stead, uh, maybe I would just put on some of the other hats I have or laying around the house and we could do that. Here, let's try this one. There we go, that doesn't match at all. So that should be fun. All right, well, welcome to day eight where not much happens uh, because he, I mean, listen. Okay, he drinks a lot in this video. Uh, I mean, uh, what else is he gonna do? He's, he's, he's flying from one site to another. He's on an airplane. So what are you gonna do but drink? I mean, airline pilots do it all the time. <coughs> Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Oh man, this is so inadvisable. Don't do this. Don't. Hey, everybody. Oh. Hi. So it's my last day. I'm getting ready to go down and get some lunch, and it's about noon right now. And then uh, my flight's out at 5:30. <sighs> Guess I'll head to the airport around 2:30. Um, I don't know how I'm getting down. This was a lot for this little bit that I'm doing right here. I feel very scared at the moment. This is this is wobbly, and I. If this footage is the last thing anybody ever sees of me, just know I lived as I, I died as I lived, drinking gin and dumb. So, hey! I already told you about that. Guys, uh, I can't believe it, but uh, somebody who is definitely not me misplaced this in some of the files. So here's another classic Ghostbusters scene at the Spinning Fountain. This is the Lincoln Center Plaza uh, where Venkman meets up with Dana after she comes out from a major orchestral event, I think. The man is competent to conduct the major symphony orchestra. Could you wait here a minute? What? Uh, sure. Dr. Lakeman, this is a surprise. That was a wonderful rehearsal. You heard that? Yes, you're the best one in your row. Uh, she plays the bass, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, they have a conversation while her musician friend sniffs whatever nasal spray. So who the hell is that? It's just a friend. A friend? An old friend. Well, I'm still very pale, though. Van Damme Express. I have no idea what this clip was supposed to be. I mean, uh, obviously he meant for me to drop in some sound effect or drop a JCBD joke in here, uh, some kind of tag to it, but I have no memory of even shooting this, let alone what he was thinking in his deviant, gin-soaked mind. Shut up. So, in lieu of that, please enjoy this JCBD mini-roll. I don't know, baby Skeletor? <laughs> what is happening in this house? Mariachi music, I love it. Can you guys hear that? They must be having a party. 
Guys, I want to party. Mm -hmm. Hey, also though, guy, maybe just don't stand outside some family's door filming their porch like a fucking creep. I just upgraded to first class from LaGuardia to O'Hare. Uh, I've never flown first class before, and so I'd like, oh, hey, let's see how the other half lives. Uh, if just for a moment, and then, whew, 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 like a fairy's kiss, it'll be gone. So I'll have a little taste, and, oh. So that will happen, and then that's the end of this story. Uh, I gotta go. So long, New York. Guys, I gotta say, to steal a joke from Larry Miller, the difference between taking a an Uber and taking a cab is like the difference between shooting a bullet and throwing it. I highly recommend the former. You know what's messed up? I didn't even notice the three military dudes in the background with full-on automatic weapons. Did not even register. No, look. Well, I'm ridiculously early. It's like 3.30. My flight doesn't board for an hour and a half. So, you know what that means. Let's try this place. sound like in Russia whenever they want another drink? It... What? That's not even a joke. Oh boy. Too much? You've had too much. Maybe you've had too much for watching. Shh, 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 shh. Shut up. Everything's fine. <laughs> Maybe I should go to my actual gate instead of this pretend gate where I'm filming. Okay, here we go. By the way, guys, he got upgraded to first class for $100. I guess there was just that much space. I highly recommend it. It was 100% worth it for any flight over, I don't know, a minute? Mm. Just look at this. Oh, this is the best. Get free headphones, warm nuts. Yeah, 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 warm nuts. We yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I mean, booze in an actual glass. 
Wow. Just look at an actual meal with real plates, silverware, free drinks. It was, it was so wonderful. Look at him. Look. Look at how happy he is. Look at how happy this dickhead is. Think about all the garbage people back in steerage. You may notice one hat, the one that I wore the whole time I was in New York, did not make an appearance in this rotation, and that is sadly because I left it on one of the planes. Neither Chi-Town nor Springfield could find it or were interested in finding it, and so that's very sad. It was my favorite hat. Boo! Me, I guess? first class. Whenever he changed planes in Chicago for the flight back to Springfield, it was back to cargo with all the rest of the cattle. There was no, there were no warm cookies. There were no warm nuts. Well, there were no warm nuts that anybody wanted. There were no free drinks. Nobody even offered him free drinks. You guys, I can't. I mean, yeah, you didn't honestly think you were getting away without another segment with this hat, did you? No. So, there it is. That's the end of day eight. It peters out with him walking out into the parking lot after baggage claim like a cold, dying rat. So that's the end of the story. Um, but hey, we have a coffee table post credit scene. Like all the Marvel movies have taught us to stick around after the credits, even though we have no credits. There's a little scene after this. Anyway. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. We have more videos coming. I promise. Just as a side note, I like to keep things like <clears throat> scrapbooking style, even though I never do anything with them. But here's my pile of things from this trip. Just a big old pile of stuff. Notes and tickets and receipts. Thank you. And just <laughs> garbage that some... Here's the thing, guys. I don't necessarily want to look at this stuff ever again but i find historical things fascinating like if i could have something like a, a pile of receipts or or some kind of historical documentation from like my grandfather or my father or anybody <clears throat> even tangentially related to me throughout history that would be fascinating to me just like as a chart through their life so i hang on to this stuff even though i have no kids and won't ever have kids Mm -hmm. Uh, and nobody will ever care about this. Oh, it got sad. Um, so, hmm, well, you know what we do whenever things get sad, guys. We swallow our feelings and drink them until they drown.